Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Let's get physical with our apps. And a great new twist on an old game. And stay away from those cheap dongles. Oh, I hate those cheap dongles. It's time for iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by Rocket Mortgage from Quicken Loans. Home plays a big role in your life. That's why Quicken Loans created Rocket Mortgage. It lets you apply simply and understand the entire mortgage process fully so you can be confident you're getting the right mortgage for you. Get started at rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. And by 23andMe, a personal genetic service helping people understand their DNA. Buy your 23andMe kit today at 23andMe.com slash twit. Hello, welcome to iOS Today. I'm Leon Laporte. I am Megan Maroney. And today we cover the latest news for iPad, Apple Watch, Apple Phone, iPhone, Apple TV. Why is it iPad and iPhone and Apple Watch and Apple TV? And Apple Pencil. I don't know. And Apple Pencil. It's really, it should be Apple everything or I everything. Do you find that you never use your pencil? So you use it so little that every time you use it, the battery's dead? Do you find that? I unfortunately do find that, and I've been trying to use it more. Like I, you know, I have, I'm a big bullet journaler. I yeah. love pencil to paper, yeah. so I've really been trying to use this as a journal, um, but so far it hasn't taken. Have you looked at uh, some of those bullet journal uh, apps I've showed you before, like Task Aid? Mm -hmm. Any? I've, I've looked at all of them. Yeah. And, you know, I get the emails from Task Aid, here, be a task master, and um, someday I will. Yeah. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about being a master of your strength. Doesn't this look dopey with this? It really does. Pencil it sticking looks truly, out like that. <laughs> um, a master out. of my strength. Yes. As you know, I've been doing the whole life challenge. I'm in week four, perhaps week five. I've lost eight pounds. What? I know. That's not even possible. No. I, I what is. are you doing that's that's uh, that's done that? I'm being more mindful about what I'm eating. That's I've very been good. avoiding bread. I had lasagna for breakfast. Is that mindful? It, if if you're celebrating, I remember Tuesday, it. No, it was it's just, good. I was hungry. I looked in the fridge and there was some lasagna, so I ate it. Did it taste delicious? Cold. Did did it taste delicious? It did, did you taste enjoy delicious. It? I enjoyed it then immensely. That's good. Enjoy it, but like just looking more on this. Like is that what you mean? Because I could do that. Sort of, yeah. Like, and then maybe if you get offered donuts or cookies or a ham sandwich later, you don't eat that. Yeah, I don't think chocolate cookies or ham sandwiches are ever mindful. <laughs> no. no. So just kind of thinking of bread as the same as bread is like a treat. Yeah, it is and a treat. It's cake. I've been drinking a ton of water, mm -hmm. and I've been mm -hmm. exercising. And I'll show you all of nice. the exercising apps that I've been using. So we're not going to make you drink water or eat donuts. We are going to make you exercise today. We're not going to make you do anything. Yes, we are. <laughs> get up off your feet. If you have a treadmill and you're watching this, get on it. Get, get on the treadmill get on and her. listen to. Okay. I bet you there's more than a few people who listen to us or watch us during the exercise I hope so. Sessions. I think so. Yeah. Um, okay, so there are about 15 billion and one workout apps. Yeah, there's um, a lot. There's a lot. So um, I have created a spreadsheet of the ones that I've tried. <laughs> you are sincere in your attempt to uh, find yes. the perfect app. Yeah, so this is uh, the... Uh, wow, that's pretty too. <laughs> this is Airtable, which is my favorite spreadsheet I think you app. spent more time doing that than you do to exercise. Perhaps I have. Um, so here are the names of the ones that I've tried. The 30-Day Squat Challenge, Aptive, which is our sponsor, Daily Burn, Female Fitness... Fitbit Coach, which was formerly Fitstar, Jillian Michaels, Strive, Swarkit, Weight Loss Fitness, Workout for Women, the Yoga Studio app, and Zova. I've done a lot of those, actually, except for the women ones. Well, what I found is there are ones like Swarkit and I think Strive, too, that they're just basically very similar. They're just a person that kind of looks halfway like a robot, and they're doing um, different exercises. They're kind exercises. of trainer apps. Yeah, but they, they just, they don't. They're trainer apps a little bit. They just show you the exercise. Yeah. But then there's ones like AppDiv, um, which doesn't show you the exercise, but works you through it. You yeah, know, so you put headphones you in and you do the treadmill or mm -hmm. the weightlifting while you're wearing your headphones and the trainer's in your ear. 
mm-hmm. Fitstar, or what do they call it now? Now that well, now uh, it's part of Fitbit. Fitbit bought it. Fitbit Coach. Coach uh, uses the very famous uh, football player Tony Gun- Tony Gonzalez, I think, mm. right, uh, to show you how to do exercises, and they have various uh, attractive people showing you how to do exercises, and then they time you and stuff. I like that. Did you mm-hmm. like Fitstar? I liked it okay. I felt like I don't have a Fitbit. I use my Apple Watch, so it was kind of there was a yeah. Uh, fragmentation. Now that Fitbit owns it, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I see. I used it before Fitbit bought it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you want to show one, or shall I? Yeah, I'll sh- I can show you. Well, you you got plenty, so I'll show you one. Okay. This is called Smart Gym. Okay. Mm. And I'm gonna uh, not. I won't turn on notifications now, but I might turn on Siri. Why would you allow you Siri? Well, you can use Siri to ask for a routine. Now, Smart Gym doesn't come with anything. So the idea is this is for people who like to lift to record their routines. And then once you record a routine, it will prompt you through it. So uh, let's create a new uh, routine for Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. We're gonna make a, let's make a, a nice leg routine. Mm. What, do you, what do you think? Good for legs. We'll call it legs. Legs. Now you see this is an iPhone app. And that makes sense because you're going to bring this to the gym, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what was our goal? Good looking legs. Feel better. <laughs> legs. <laughs> it's all about the legs. Stretches? Yeah, do yes. <laughs> you might want to put what stretches you do beforehand. Renewal, well, how often I guess you're gonna uh you're gonna modify this and you keep notes. Now let's add some exercises. And this is at least this has stuff already in it, right? So what do we want to do for our legs? I think we wanna do a lying leg raise. And how many sets do we want to do? We're going to do three sets, 12 reps per set, okay? And it does give you a very, very rudimentary, just really more as a prompt. Now, save that. So we have now already in here, and uh, we can even add how much rest we're going to put in there. Let's see. uh, What else should we do? Flutter kicks. That'd be good. Let's do some flutter kicks. And, you know, I always like to do 312, but sometimes, like, something's easy, you might want to do more reps. All right, let's save that out. Okay, so we've got our legs exercise. We can see as we do it, we can record it. I should probably do one, shouldn't I? Let's all let's all do uh, let's all do some Get legs. Get up on the table and do some legs. Let's all exercises. do some legs. Up okay, there. here you go. You ready? <laughs> I don't know how to start the routine. <laughs> start the routine. Maybe it's just maybe it's just gonna tell me what the routine is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh here Check. we go. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna it's, we're gonna count them out. Um, it's a very, basically, it does what you would do on a piece of paper. Most people who lift do this. They record, unless they have really good memories, they record. Uh, this will sync its history with the health app, which is nice. So you mm-hmm. can keep track of your lifting uh, in the health app. Uh, it also has Apple Watch support, which is probably the best thing if you're doing some exercises where you can wear the watch. It's going to prompt you and keep track of your reps and then keep, tr- and then, you know, you have it in your health app. So it's very simple, smart gym. It's not very expensive. I, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but a great, I don't have any data on here. I have it all on my phone, but it's a great way for me to keep track of what I've done and what I'm doing and what I'm going to do. So what I found in, in all of these is um, the free apps are fine, um, but the subscription apps are a little better, but yeah. some of them are way more expensive than they need to be. You could spend a lot. You could spend, typically they're a hundred bucks a year. Mm-hmm. And if you bought a few of them, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So usually they range from seven ninety nine to like fourteen ninety nine a month. And of course, if you buy the whole year, then you get it a little bit cheaper. Right. Here's one. Um, basically, many of them are similar to this. This is Strive. But um, you say how many workouts per week you want to do. I want to do seven. Um, if you have equipment, maybe you have a pull-up bar. I only have one bar at home, but um, maybe you go to the gym and use this at the gym and you have a band. So I have a pull-up bar and then I click... Um, then I can see it's going to generate a workout for me. Mm-hmm. And what I like about this is I also like being, as we've discussed previously on the show, I like being told what to do. So these are helpful to to me. So I could do, let's do it. That's 20- much better than the, the kind of rudimentary. Yeah. So either I have 21 minutes or I have eight minutes. Make it quick, which is good because some days you have 20 minutes. Maybe you want to do like three different eight minute workouts. So you only, so this is the same thing, legs and glutes, but you got a nice lady showing you how to do it instead of your timer and a little countdown Mm -hmm. and tells you what to do. Jumping jacks. 
Oh, this is nice. Now, how much is this? This one um, is free to try, and then you get, I think, one workout a day. Oh, well, that's and plenty then... for anybody who wants to do more than one a day. <laughs> exactly. Gee, many Let Christmas. me check my spreadsheet, and I will tell you... Um, you have it all in there. ...where, uh, how much it is. Strive is $5 a month, so not bad. That's not bad, and that looks pretty complete. That looks like everything you'd want. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, the one that I use regularly is the Yoga Studio app, which I've shown before, and that's only $1.60 a month, which is super cheap. Um, so, you can have, you know, a workout one and a yoga one. Um, and the Yoga Studio app includes um, workouts with Rodney Yee. Are you familiar with Rodney Yee? He's a no. very gentle um, yoga expert. Here he is, Rodney Yee's beginner's essentials. Um, so would you want to do some hip openers? Yeah, I need to do hip openers. So um, I, I sit can, a lot. I would download that. Um, I think you can also stream them, but you might not be able to. Let's check my uh, the, my workouts that I have already downloaded my in my studio. Here's Rodney's sun salutation with back bend preps. Now, I need to do more stretching. Would this be a good yes. choice? Dollar sixty a month. Yeah, I really like it. Reach through your elbows and your fingers. Nice music. And plug the arms in. Some people, that's a turn off. And um, I know we've mentioned them before, and I know they are our sponsor, but Aptive is one that I've stuck with pretty, pretty really, regularly, too. I really, really like too. this one. Because yeah. Aptive is good in your home gym and also good in um, outside. It has so many different exercises. Yeah. See, this is the one, I think it is really the most varied. So you can do outdoor running. You can do running on the treadmill, which, you know, we have a gym membership and I go to there and I have a treadmill in my house now too. And so I can do those there and the elliptical, indoor cycling, rowing, stair climber, strength training. So you can do strength training with or without weights that you have. So um, you can choose the music that you want to use and you can um, choose the level. I'm in this level where like beginner is too easy and an intermediate is too hard mm. but you can really like tell them like oh that workout was too hard find me an easier one and they can do that for you so and they have a free trial too they have a 30 day free trial and then it uh is after that that's i ended up paying the hundred dollars for a too. year i also did because i figure i'm going to use this a lot and i did that and, before they were and the, the th yeah me too so did I. <laughs> the the thing that uh, remember is that a gym would cost you a lot more, and you're mm -hmm. getting a lot of the benefit of it. Uh, you know, I paid for my trainer. It's $90 an hour. It's expensive. So really, for one hour of training, you get a year's mm -hmm. worth of trainer in your ear. I really like them. Like, they, they're they very encouraging, and they say yeah. things that, you know. Yeah, they're nice trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's, I mean, a good trainer's got, it, I guess the nice thing about having your own trainer is they can tailor, you know, sometimes people need to be yelled at. Sometimes they need to be encouraged. So maybe the, tra uh, you know, a good trainer would, tailor it do they have an active i haven't found it a yell at you trainer like get off your uh, mm. get on your do the there are some that are like oh, i told you not to stop and i was actually thinking of stopping at that <laughs> that's time that's good but, yeah. <laughs> okay good they but have it you know there are a lot of inspirational quotes they give you you know I told you not to stop you've got to grow through it go yeah. th grow through grow what you through go it. through yeah. That kind of thing. Pain like is weakness thing. leaving the body. Yes. Yes. Um, all right, the I sun have... shone. What was that? The sun shone. Because it had to. As always, it had to on, on the, the nothing, nothing new. That's a, that's Second. my most inspiring training quote. Yeah. Um, okay, I have something slightly different, unless yes. it's your turn. No. It's not my turn? Okay. No, keep going. I, I have a few things. But nothing I'd recommend. In fact, you most of the stuff that you're talking about, I've you're already... Right. Uh, yeah. this, this I've tried like, everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Wait a minute. This is, is an actual helmet? The Lumos helmet. It's shiny. That man. I've been wearing around. That's cute. Um, just in case I fall down. <laughs> this, this is, I have it slightly You know, off. we went to a, a volcanic island in uh, Japan, mm -hmm. Kagoshima. Where the, it's uh, it's uh, the volcano is active. Mm -hmm. And so children wear helmets oh, as really? they wander around town. <laughs> They're required to by smart. law. Um, <laughs> that's I wouldn't live anywhere where the law required you to wear a helmet as you walked around. Yeah. That's Why good, is that flashing? Okay. Does that well, mean you're smart? Uh, you? It is a smart helmet. So if I were riding in the dark or even in the dusk, it's always good to have a nice light on there. And it also flashes in the back. See? 
Oh, nice. Pretty nice. That's actually right? a really good idea for a helmet. I okay. like that. If you like that, then you're going to be even made. This goes on your um, handlebar. And yeah. if I'm going to go left. Oh, it's got a blinker, a and signal. And if I'm going to go right. Oh, I want this helmet. Okay. That's great. If that's not enough, there's more. This is not a this is not a new helmet. Um, this has been around for a little while, but they just introduced. This seems so obvious. I don't know why. I know. I, I mean, this is great. Every helmet should have that. Um, let me fix my helmet hair, and then I will show you. Um, they have Apple Watch gesture support. So you know okay, the signal. I'm, if I'm going left. I'm going like that. If I go right, I go like that. Then it will automatically signal no. for you. Does I that know, work pretty I well? Uh, Sometimes Let's try it does. It. Okay, so um, here's my Apple Watch app. Here, put it on my head. Okay, yeah. Put it on, I, does it have to be the same person? I, well. <laughs> That's an interesting. Okay, let's try it. We'll try it in all the ways. We got time, okay. right? Yeah. Um, okay. All right, so now, I let's click turn on left. my Apple Watch app. Yeah. Well, he wants to see the signal. Okay, so it's backwards, and then I'm going to start yeah, a I mean, ride. Yeah, obviously, I could do that or sit backwards in the chair. Okay. I thought it would be easier to put the helmet Turn on. left. Straight out. Oh. oh, oh wait! I have to do it. <laughs> Is it on? Wait, turn. Press the button to turn it on. Oh, that's that's why. That's why nothing's happening. Okay. Oh, it does. It signals in front. Are you sure it signals in front? <laughs> Can I borrow this for the pink concert? Okay, let's try it. Okay, so if it doesn't work, let's, uh, let's, uh, what do you, what's See, I wouldn't want to rely okay. on that. Please Did stop first. Okay. <laughs> stop. Okay. So, we're going to press next, then keep the riding pose. Okay, so, put, act like you're riding. Put your hands out on the handlebars. Okay. Then play, press next and keep tur the turning left pose. No, it doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> You're the one with the watch on. Oh, yeah. Okay, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> there are people screaming at their TV like, could that woman be any dumber? <laughs> I don't could. think it works, okay. honestly. Is, it are did those work. Signals for the okay. I want Let's this helmet, though, because okay. even if it didn't do that, I'd be happy. Okay. Yeah, because you this works just. I don't fine. mind if it has left for here. Give, give me the button. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm starting. Maybe I have to be moving. Okay, around. so you're right, John. It does do the uh, signaling in the front. Signal in the front. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I was running. riding. <laughs> I'm getting a workout here. You know what? <laughs> it would it would only work if on your watch arm though, right? Yeah, but I'm I'm using my watch arm. No, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> it did work. Okay, so this is the first look. We're going to do a full review on the screensavers, okay? I like that. How I'm much is it, it though? It's got to be like really expensive. That's a good question. It's probably thousands of dollars. I don't think dollars. it is that much. Kevin, can you bring up the website? It probably says how much it is. I like this idea, though. I think for safety's sake, this is a really good idea. Yeah. But I understand why, uh, you know, it'd be nice if it worked with the, uh, oh, look, they have a white one, too. Oh, yeah. That's the life helmet. I can't read that far. Hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, you know. Hundred and forty dollars for the white. You know, it's one. about twice as much. Twice as much as a uh, regular helmet. A good helmet, and it yeah, yeah. it suggests in the back. Does um, the white one do all the same things? It's, it's no, the light. no. It's the left. The black one has to, the ones that works with Strava and oh, so oh, it will also track thing, your yes. ride. Yes, oh, oh. forgot the biggest part. It'll track your. So let me show you when I walked around the studio with it. Um. That's interesting. Yes, it's so, an activity tracker as well. Um, do you need an Apple Watch or an iPhone for it to track? It must, right? Well, it doesn't have GPS built into it. Uh, that's a good, really good question. If you could use it without, probably. All of these would be things you can answer in your... Um, My full review. Full review. Yes. So here's the ride that um, that it showed when I walked around. I walked 0.4 distance. So, yeah, I haven't used it on my bike oh, I can yet. See it. it would have a pedometer in it. That's easy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is there a subscription for the helmet? That's a good question. No. I don't have to sign up for an account? No. no. All right. I There's like no it. subscription. Good. You don't have to. Um, I'm going to work on the Apple Watch setup a little more. I think it actually showed me on a map where I went, too. Um, but. Nice. Yeah, so. 
Very nice. The Lumos helmet. I'm going to wear this helmet for the rest of the show, if you don't mind. Oh, wait. I'm still riding a bike. That really, uh, that's bright. Now, it doesn't, it's not bright enough to, well, maybe they, they're acting like it can illuminate your way. Well, they have also have a light on the bike. Mm. All right. So they're not really I think this is a really like good that. idea. You know, I you know, it's so hard riding a bike in the city, but at night it's worse. 48 LEDs. Yeah. Nice. I'm getting this. Integrated turn signals. That is so Definitely cool. this works. We know that the You really the look strange looks riding it, but that's okay. You're safe. Yeah. So there he is. It's See, working it works for him. for him. Oh, it has stop too. Maybe you have to be on a bike. Yeah, like maybe it's just the, it knows. So that while well, tested on a bike. Apple Watch does the thinking and Loomis does the blinking. Is that what it said, or did you yeah, just make no, that up? Yeah, no, I read it for Okay. The, I didn't um, make that up. I think I made that up. <laughs> okay, uh, I have one more. Do you have any more? No. I okay. don't. Fitness is not my thing. <laughs> I got a lot of, I got two questions. That's a lot for like a sign of a random question about an app for the treadmill. And <sighs> You mean like uh, to keep track of your treading or to, I well, guess. Well, just to make treadmills more That's interesting. so boring. And yeah. Aptive does have treadmill Apt routines. Aptive does yeah. do treadmill, and I really like that a I lot. just watch MSNBC, and that can, it gets my heart rate up. <laughs> I watch, yeah. I, I don't even have to do the treadmill. <laughs> I have, yeah. Like, I, I watch. blood pressure's through the roof. <laughs> I watch Shameless. Um, and Shameless? Like, the, the U.S. Shameless, and they're constantly smoking and drinking and, like, eating I know. bad food. And as a and mother, you're going, shame on you. <laughs> Knock that off. <laughs> it's a great show. Um, I hate that show. You like that show? I love, I love the characters. It's so, just... it's so depressing. But love conquers all. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, still have terrible lives. Um, I, I love it. And oh, okay. I feel That's like. good. I, a friend of mine was, uh, was in it. I know. You told yeah, me. Jane she was C. Mandy. Levy. Yeah. But she, then she's not anymore. She only did, was in the first season. Think, um, yeah. She was the girlfriend. Yeah. But. Uh, I really like, I enjoy the show and it's exhausting um, in itself. So I feel like I'm working out more. But here is another app uh, called Treadmill Trails. That if you don't have a TV where your treadmill is and you just want to pretend like you're outside, um, you can try this. Let's try a preview. I'm downloading one. It's free. There's some free previews. They're 99 cents for each full video that you watch. So let's. That's a nice way to do it. Just to, you pay. For, it's downloading. It's mm -hmm. stuck. It's you pay for the, uh, just what you use. Mm -hmm. What's happening now? Well, it looks like it's still downloading, so I was going to try it on my iPhone. <gasps> so you can look at those beautiful views mm -hmm. as you tread? Mm-hmm. <gasps> so nice. let's pick, you want to go to the beach, um, the gardens? Can you uh, airplay this to your TV so you can really enjoy it? Oh, I bet you could. There's no reason you nice. couldn't. Nice. Um, nice. Let's go to Big Sur. Ready? You're not going to get to hear it because it's... Oh, look at this. Oh, but he's so, talking to me. And it's at walking speed, roughly? Yeah. We're looking around. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And then, yeah, so you just put this on your treadmill and you're and you're walking... Is it all around. outdoors or can like, you walk through a Vegas casino? <laughs> can you walk through like your, your mall? You should do this in your gym. Walk like, through my gym? Yeah, or walk through your house. Or we should do like a walk through the Twit Studios. Oh, for, see. And then you can... Be a short walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Treadmill so that, trails. Those are just the previews. Nice. Um, I don't know why nice. it's stuck here. But... Better, Cheaper, Slower Incorporated. Is that That's a it's... funny name. That's the company. That's a funny name. Okay. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. It looks like they've shot a lot of video. Here, well, let's listen to this beach walk up. This is your treadmill trail for all seasons. If the weather's a little too warm and you, you can hop over the waves with your son and your run. Mm. This is your wake-up call. Oh, this is nice. The weather's way so too cold. So does every time you think you need oh, one of these, just I do need cents? this. This is it. And if it's just a slow morning that needs a gentle sunrise and some wave action to get What I don't understand, they don't have an Apple Watch app, so you do have to airplay. Start your music. Start it seems your like they should have an Apple Watch app. What do you mean? I mean Apple TV, sorry. Apple TV. Yeah, I don't yeah. have an Apple TV. No. Yeah, I don't want to watch it on my watch. No. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm sweating already. It's probably because um, you're wearing a helmet. Yeah. You want me to take a break? You want to take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. All and, right. And take your helmet off and I'll tell everybody okay. how you can save and save time and save money by 
getting your next home loan, your next mortgage from Rocket Mortgage, the number one lender in the country, Quicken Loans, realized that the mortgage lending process, to get it, the approval process, was really stuck in the Middle Ages, pretty, pretty much. I mean, not much improved since, uh, you know, since Charles Dickens' time, where, you, you know, you'd have to go to a bank and fill out a long application. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just pull out your phone and apply for a home loan in minutes? You can. You can with Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage is simple. It's easy to use. That's you understand completely what's going on. So there's no mystery. And then when the time comes to push the button and buy that home, you'll do it with confidence. Rocket Mortgage. Here's the way it works. You fire up the... Actually, you could do this right now. You could get started at rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. I know you're not in the, in the middle of buying a house probably, although you might be refining right now. Go to rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today just to get ready, get the account set up. And then when you're at an open house or you say, hey, we really, let's buy this house, you finish the process. It takes just a couple of minutes. You answer questions you already know. You don't have to do any research. Things, you you know, your social, your home address, things like that. Then they go out and talk to their trusted financial partners. With your permission, they can pull all the information they need. They crunch the numbers based on income, your assets, your credit, they can analyze all the home loan options for which you qualify, find the loan that's just right for you. And they do that in as little as uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes! You could, that's amazing. I mean, you could say, hey, let's buy this house, and eight minutes later show the realtor before you leave, hey, we're approved, we want to make an offer. Rocket mortgage. You choose the term, you choose the rate, you choose the down payment, you get the loan you want easily, effectively, you understand what's going on, it's transparent. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. To get started, go to rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. Rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states at MLSconsumeraccess.org number 3030. I saw a Rocket Mortgage ad right in front of the uh, Avengers Infinity War movie oh. the other day. Rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. From the best lender in the country, Quicken Loans. But... Even if you see the ad somewhere else, make sure you do rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today so they know you heard about it here. <sighs> Have you seen uh, Infinity War yet? I haven't yet. Uh, we couldn't go see it the first weekend. And then after that, my boys said they heard it wasn't good. It's terrible. So, yeah. I don't know why everybody was so... I, didn't everybody say how great it was? Kevin, I bet you liked it. <laughs> I saw all the other movies. You, so yeah, see, if you've seen all the other movies, it's like it's a pastiche of all the other movies. That's what's not great about it is it's almost three hours because they had to get everybody in. Everybody's got a, a little bit in it and they just put it and they, and but the problem is the movies that they're stitching together all have kind of different styles and flavors mm -hmm. and it doesn't, it makes, it's like a, it's like too, too it's like a stew with too many flavors mm -hmm. in it. So I, yeah, I actually fell asleep during the big battle scene. Oh. Literally. Then I woke up. As you know, we went to the Pepcom conference, which is a place where people give you things so that you'll talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I did not go. Yeah. I don't go to these things. I don't want to have to talk about anything. I enjoy... Except my feelings, my thoughts, my ideas. I enjoy seeing um, people there like Patrick and Becky. I saw and... a picture of you with everybody. Like everybody mm -hmm. was there. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Everybody but you. It's, a good old, it's all good. At, well, they don't want to see me. <laughs> they do want to see I'm you. I'm a grump. They do want to see you. Anyway, um, I thought this was pretty cool. It's uh, $40. So unless what is you it? Really, it's a impact protection for your Apple Watch. I also Oh, it's a little cool. rubber house yeah, for your watch. I get it. Sure. And I was like, I told the woman, I was like, but I've never known anyone who's cracked their watch. And then Anthony was standing there. He's like, I cracked my Apple Watch. So, um, yeah, it, if I have it's never cracked an Apple Watch. It's a case for your watch. watch I've but, seen yeah. these before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked it. It's, yeah. I think it's colorful. Yeah, they've, they've gotten them. This was pretty easy. How much? This is forty dollars, but what I like too is it's got the you know the button and the turn thing and everything. So yeah, catalyst. If you're looking, I really yeah, like it nice. so far. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it on. And all right, now you brought a lot of stuff today. I did. Yeah, you just I might, I might up. talk about it. I might not. But okay. I do want to talk about this dirty dongle. It's dirty cheap dongle. <laughs> the dirty. What? Is, let me look at your dongle. Okay. Oh, this is the dongle that comes with the iPhone. No. 
That is not the dongle that comes with the. Well, it, but it's the it's the one that goes to the lightning port, and right. then and then you ha have a plug in for your headphones. I wish I had a regular real Apple dongle because that is a fake one. Oh, it looks exactly the same. So I know our friend Lynn, who works here, who's our bookkeeper, she came to me and said. Do you have a second, Megan? Which, when she comes in and says, I'm like, oh, no, what, oh, what's going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to give you your final check. <laughs> when, you're, yeah. when the bookkeeper comes in and says, second? do you have a second? Do you have a second? There was some problems, some irregularities. <laughs> what did I do? We need all that money back we gave you. <laughs> yeah. So she said, I'm having problems with my iPhone, with my headphones. I can't, they won't work. And, um, you know, I, I have an iPhone and I plug in this dongle and I... Um, Mm -hmm. I gave the you away to the end of the story. of the dirty dongle. <laughs> the case of the dirty dongle. So she said that her headphones weren't working. Like she would plug it in and it would play for a minute. And then it would just say, this is not supported. This accessory is not supported. And I thought, huh. And she was like, these are brand new headphones. And I was like, well, have you ever thought of Bluetooth headphones? And she was like, no, I don't want Bluetooth headphones. I want regular, regular headphones. headphones. And I want to be able to plug them in. Accessory and, not supported. And she said the other, the last headphones that I got, um, they started doing the same thing. So I bought this new she one. She bought new headphones. And <gasps> I thought, okay, well, let's try to figure this out. So um, we did a lot of diagnosis. I tried her headphones in my uh, computer and they worked fine. We did. And then I was like, I looked at the dongle and I thought, maybe you know it's what? the dongle. This, let me use my dongle. And then she said she got those dongles on Amazon for like three. Oh, for, you got to be really careful yeah. with the Amazon dongles. It was like three for $15 or something like that. Is it working? Works on this. And, but it took a minute and then it would eventually say this. So isn't that interesting? Is it supported. doesn't work on the iPhone, but it did work on uh, this iPad. It works on the iPad. So, you can so what it. it is, is it's made, you know, that's, that's the problem. It's not made for iPhone. Mm -hmm. It's made for something else. And I, I would guess. even try it for a little while and make sure that it really works. But on you me. said that this because doesn't work like, with your headphones on. on yeah. Your... After a minute or so, it, it stopped working. Oh, it took a while. Yeah. Sometimes it took 30 seconds. Sometimes it took a minute. That's then, weird. Yeah. And it was, that was what was so confusing. Let me try that it again. Ju you didn't just plug it me, right in and I'll it's tell like you this what. accessory isn't supported. Keep doing the show. I'll listen to some music for a <laughs> okay. while. Okay. <laughs> and I'll get back to you. So just, I know they're expensive, the dongles. Um, find someone you know who has new iPhones and also likes Always Bluetooth get, headphones. Here, it's really like, simple. MFI. Made for iPhone. Mm -hmm. And actually there were some uh, counterfeiters that were putting the MFI logo on it. And it was an MFI. So you want to really make sure it's really MFI. But if it's made for iPhone, that means Apple has certified it to work. So it's working right now for me. I'm wondering if it's funny that it stopped working after mm -hmm. a while. Yeah, there it is, the MFI program. And you want to make sure that, but uh, Amazon's had problems before with cheap uh, cables and dongles and all kinds of little things like that um, not being good. In fact, there was a Benson Leon, who's a Google engineer, for a while had to go on Amazon and tell people, don't buy this cable, it'll fry your computer. Mm hmm. Uh, these are Type C charging cables, so it's still working. Yeah, maybe it's just not good for the. It iPhone might be 10 it just doesn't work on the iPhone. Or iPhone eight, or whatever she yeah. has. She has an eight, I think. Yeah, don't buy. That's really a good point. Excellent point. So um, I love it when I can answer someone's tech yeah. question. I love the days that you're not here, and then someone comes troubleshooting to me. is great because yeah. uh, you, you did exactly the right thing. Was said, well, let's try these on mine. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on, mm -hmm. and you listened long enough that. Mm -hmm. uh, and she didn't tell me right away that she'd bought the right, the, and you wouldn't know. Yeah, they were slightly shorter. That yeah. one's slightly longer. I should. Is but, it? It feels like it's a little longer. But you could keep that one because she um, said I could keep it because it doesn't work for her. Yeah, it. it you could tell the manufacturer's a little bit off. There's a, some edges there. I think Apple prints. They don't print Apple, and I really wish they would on their dongles. But I think they print some stuff on there. I have to look at my Apple dongle and see. Interesting. Yeah, I um I had one at my desk. I asked Colleen if she would bring me one, but I think that maybe it's, there's one in my. Um, oh, she doesn't mind. have one. Should we? Should we? Uh, let's let's compare. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> John's gonna give me. I've my, lost all my dongles. My briefcase. They're with and my I marbles have, somewhere. Well, that's the problem with this whole dongle thing, right? <laughs> you can't find them. Yeah, you lose them. Well, I keep mine in the auxiliary cable in the car. But yeah. they do come with every phone, so now I have you know three. I've I had keep three it phones. with my headphones. See, smart. Yeah, and I actually, this is really sad. I have two dongles because I have 
two different situations. I, my, the Pixel 2 doesn't have a headphone jack either. Oh, so you have the USB-C So dongle. I have the USB-C dongle. Well, that's the USB-C dongle. Yeah, that's for the Pixel 2. Here's the, I, I'm almost positive. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah, official. Look how it is definitely different looking. Mm -hmm. Official Apple dongle. It's short, much shorter. But you know, it doesn't have anything printed on it. The manufacturer's better, though. You don't see any seams from the uh, mold. You see this? You can't really see it, probably. But this, this actually, if you looked at it carefully, isn't isn't very well made. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, this is the problem. Apple has printed nothing on here to to signify it's official. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. Careful about what which you buy. Dongles you put Get in the your right machine. dongle. Now, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. one's the Endless right double one. entendres today. You know, the word dongle, it's cheap to take advantage of it, I think. Is it? I prefer not to. <laughs> <laughs> and from coming from me, that's saying a lot. All right. I got So I got a double dongle. See that? <laughs> no, you have to because uh, if I listen to the Pixel, I have to have the Type C one. That's ridiculous. And there's no reason for it. Come on. Doesn't, there's no courage involved. It no. doesn't save space. No. Come on, man. <sighs> Samsung manages to make a very nice phone with a headphone jack and all the same features. I don't understand why you have to take it out. Here, you can have that. You don't want to keep it for your iPad? No, because I might use it by accident. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, all right, well. You don't need it for the iPad. It has that's a true. very has nice headphone, headphone for jack. For the next iPad. I really fear. I worry that the more. Well, remember I was going to buy for Mother's Day. I was going to buy yeah. Mom an iPhone. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Because I remembered why she's still on the iPhone 6, the headphone the jack. Headphone. Uh, she, and otherwise, she'd have a much more modern iPhone. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want the new mm -hmm. iPhone because of the lack of the mm -hmm. headphone jack. Um, okay, so you know how many iPhone 10 cases I have? The answer is way too many. Yeah. I've given them away. You, you gave them and to I, me. Then I, I give you a bunch of them, too. I mean, because I, I don't want them all lying around. I've but I think I might need to get this one. This oh. Spigen has one that makes... Oh, it looks Your, like an iMac, I've, a Bondi yes, Blue a iMac. G3. I know. Isn't it so cute? Wanna... Yeah, I saw these. I also saw people complaining because they, they don't like the hole for the Apple logo. Why? What's wrong with it? Because Even square? Apple doesn't put a hole there for the Apple logo. Oh. Oh, yeah. So They don't. That's true. Uh, okay. So that's one complaint. I guess I don't You know what's it. funny, though, is that they've put fake kind of circuitry on it so yeah. it looks like a Bondi Blue iMac. Right. That is very funny in, in honor of the 20th anniversary yeah. of the iMac. I like hello it. Hello again. It's so cute. Oh, it even says hello again. I know. You know, Spigen does. I always buy, before I get, anytime I order a new phone, I go immediately the day I order it to Amazon and I get the Spigen case for that phone. Mm -hmm. And I get, you know what I get is the kind of the rubbery clear ones because mm -hmm. they're cheap. They're under $10 almost always. And then you have protection when you get your new phone. Mm -hmm. You need protection. Gives you some time if you want to get something fancier to mm -hmm. look around. Uh, Gaston D'Aquino says the Apple Watch saved his life. You know, this is something that a lot of people are saying these days. Now, how did it save his life? His heart rate was up and it yeah. notified him. That's what it almost always seems to be this new, your heart rate's up for no apparent yeah, reason. Yeah, so you're just warning. sitting yeah. and it's, um, yeah. There was a, a young lady, uh, I think she was a teenager, whose kidney failed. And same thing, heart rate went way up. Apple Watch warned her. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, she sought medical attention and uh, saved her life also. So I think the Apple Watch has saved uh, at, at least three or four lives that I can remember. So that way, I checked into this because I didn't. I didn't really look at that, but um, it does tell you what your resting heart rate should be. There's a feature though that if it spikes. You know that, right? Yes. Yeah. But I, so, okay, we got an email about this because Rob said that um, his it watch- It happened during the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> People were sitting in their heart. Right? Yeah, they were all over the country. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, he said that when he looked into it, um, his heart rate was elevated for a couple of weeks, but it never reported this to him. And he said, now I can't trust this device anymore. Who can I contact? Mm -hmm. I mean, who can I contact? Is You should probably contact your doctor if your heart rate is elevated. Just ask them. But um, Yeah, I wouldn't rely on the Apple Watch to, to save your life. If it happens to, nice. But I wouldn't say, oh, yeah, this is all I need now. I'm set. I got anyth everything. And if anything goes wrong, the Apple Watch will tell me. Mm -hmm. That seems like a bad idea. So, yeah, you can turn the notifications off. Is that off. a setting that you have okay. to turn on? Or yes. Off? So right. you open the watch app. Let's see. I think I probably, 
turn it off because, you know, I get excited for no reason all the time. Tap the My Watch. My Watch, okay. And then tap Heart Rate. And, okay, so here it is. So My Watch. Elevated right. heart rate. Oh, you can even set what the notification level is. Right. So, so mine's set for 120. Yeah, mine was set for 122, but I moved it down to 110. I should just move it down to 100 and see what happens. I bet it'll go off all the time. I don't think my, I think my, my, my resting heart rate is around 60, though. I think now, it would, so should tell you what it you says what here, receive a notification when Apple Watch detects a heart rate that rises above whatever that setting is while you appear to have been inactive for 10 minutes. So that really is a warning. If you're just lying there and all of a sudden your heart spikes, yeah, I would, you know what, maybe 120 is too high. Well, because, I mean, normal humans are 60 to 100 beats per minute. That's normal resting heart rate. Right. So. Well, I my resting heart rate's about 62 or 63. I think it will tell so you. So maybe I should oh, turn mine, it down. My, okay, you can see what your heart rate, but my heart rate you can show my heart rate variability. Because if, if my heart rate goes up during the shows. Where do you see that? That's cool. That's in the health app. Um, so my resting rate is 52 beats per minute. Oh, that's very healthy. You you really are living a better lifestyle. I, I am. It's the whole that's life very challenge. Good. That's the whole life challenge. Um, yeah. So my max is 135. My minimum my minimum is 46. So, but mostly it's 52. Um, 20 21 ms. What does that stand for? 21. That's my heart rate variability. Oh, that's really important. That's how long between. Oh, I'm trying to remember. This was a big deal uh, to measure this. Um, it's variation in the... In, so your heart's beating about once a second, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a variation. It's not always exactly once a second. And so that's the average difference, plus or minus 21 milliseconds. That's a, actually a, a little high. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it means when it's high. I think it means you're tired. Mm, that's true. A higher, I think, I, boy, this, I probably shouldn't say anything since I don't know for sure. <laughs> Doc, is there a doctor in the house? Do well, remember, because we were talking a lot about this because uh, this is something people uh, monitor a lot. So my heart rate today between 62 and 105. But why do you, why do you only have a little bit of rating and I have so many? That's today. Let me look at month and year. Oh, is that because I woke up at six and you woke up at nine? <laughs> uh, no, I was up at six. <laughs> okay. But I don't put my watch on first thing. Oh, I do. First thing. Gotta you get, get out of bed the... and you immediately put your watch on. Got to get all the points. Oh, that's why. You want all the points. <laughs> yep. Um, so for May, my very, the heart rate variations were fairly high. 45. That's, that is an anomaly. I don't think that's accurate. Sometimes, have you noticed that sometimes the, the rate will be half what it normally is, mm -hmm. like it's missing a beat, to 158. That's accurate. That's accurate. And that's pretty high. So, um, yeah, so based on like, uh, let's do, let's, let me look at the week. Based on the week, you probably should look at this and see what you'd want. Now, all of these higher ones are while I'm exercising. So you, you probably can judge from there where, I think 120 is probably a decent place. Mm -hmm. If it really spikes beyond 120 and you haven't done anything in 10 minutes, I wonder. You must be watching a football game. Yeah, I... Um, this is this is good stuff. I like this. I mean, yeah, because what, we, what, even now Here's we're doing a show... walking average, workout my rate, average. My heart rate should probably be higher How often you is. breathe? <laughs> That's not how often you breathe. That's how often you do the Breathe app. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I think I do breathe more than that. Uh, elevated heart rate notifications. I don't have any. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting because it'll tell you like when I'm walking, my average heart rate is 81. When I'm doing yoga, it's 114. Yeah. Right That's now it's 74. Cool, it, it feels like it should be stuff. higher. I, I feel like maybe I'm not working hard enough We're all this interested show. in this stuff, aren't we? We are. Look at my uh, heart rate was 30 at some point this year. Yes, I know that's wrong. There's no way it was 30. When I'm walking, it averages just under 100. When I'm working out, no, I never got to 210. I'd be dead. So look at this more not like all year, exact. zero heart rate notifications. Same thing, 2017. Look at it as just sort of a extra. Um, Extra. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not, yeah. And I think Apple will be quick to tell you that. In fact, it's one of the reasons Apple's been cautious about making too many heart, uh, health mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. claims. Uh, yeah. claims with us, yeah. All right, we got some more emails. Uh, Matthew from England writes about our discussion last week about the engraving of the new iPhone for your mom on Mother's Day, which you didn't buy. And he says, just an FYI, customers can no longer engrave iPhone 8 or 10. Oh, it's the glass. Due to the glass enclosure. Uh, Only iPads now or anything aluminum. Matthew, that makes perfect sense. You mm -hmm. can't engrave the glass. I forgot that the red iPhone 8 was... Still glass. But you can't engrave glass? Well, you can. You can etch it. We call yeah, it etching, etching in the business. Okay. Keith says, I use Affinity Photo on the Mac Love for photo it. ed editing. I just wonder if you have any comments or suggestions on the iOS app. It's 20 pounds. I'm in the UK, so that's around $27. Before I buy, just like some further information, particularly on usability on the iPad. I do have an Apple Pencil. Well... Um, Affinity Photo, okay, so I have mixed feelings about Affinity Photo because it is uh, a power tool, and you can do, it's pretty much Photoshop, uh, and and if you like it on the Mac, you'd probably like it on the uh, iPad. The the only maybe issue, let me take a, a picture and, uh, and show you what we can do with it here. So we're going to edit this picture. The issue on the, iMac, on the iPad becomes, see the icons, and these are, by the way, you'll recognize these. These look exactly the same mm -hmm. as on the Mac, but they're a little small. They're probably as small as you can get and still have them be touchable. And, of course, if you're using the pencil, no problem at all. You could tap those pretty pretty accurately. I think this is, a, I mean, a stunning program, but you'll probably use it a little bit differently on the iPad than you might use it on the, uh, on the, on the Mac because you're going to use the kind of the larger gestures and, you know. But look, I mean, you, you still have access to... They, what they did with this program is kind of amazing. I mean, they built in all the features of a desktop photo editing program, including, look at he, the bright, this is like Photoshop. I mean, and and then added, you know, all the all the, all the benefits of a drawing program to the to a photo program. So this is really a powerful tool. Um, I think workflow with this is a little more cum cumbersome because it's just God, there's so many things they put everything into it right so to me no i've really ruined that picture <laughs> back. holy cow holy where's the undo button um there you go Whew. Whew. That's, a, that's a relief i love that photo i know it always feels like this show really it's it actually i ruined this photo with affinity because i um who's the bird and who's the seal <laughs> Mm -hmm. Some days you're the bird and some days you're the seal. <laughs> I ruined it because I uh, brightened up the rock too much, right? And it and it distracts from the this the uh, sea lion and the I flightless cormorant. The actual picture of the rock is a little bit uh, darker, but I but I was playing with it. I mean, it's pretty cool what you can do. And you can see, I mean, because the iPad is, has touch gestures, it really does give you the capability of doing some very detailed work. This is a this is worth twenty pounds, I would say. It's Absolutely. nineteen ninety nine in the U.S. Wow, so so yeah, that's nice, isn't that nice? How they do that exchange rate thing? <laughs> Jeez, um, I think this is a really amazing tool. And if you're serious about using your eye, here's the thing: if you're serious about using your iPad for photo editing, there's nothing at this level. Uh, but many people choose to use simpler programs like Snapseed, mm -hmm. which are kind of designed for a touch environment. And, and but don't give you nearly. Here's my new car, by the way. Do you like it? Mm. Don't give you nearly the kinds of refinement. But you, you can see this is what Google thinks a a touch environment should have. Just a bunch of you know pics like this. Um, and so it depends, really. I guess it comes back to what you're going to do on your iPad versus on your desktop. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like Affinity Photo. I think it's really, really good. Pixelmator is pretty close. I think it's roughly the same uh, cost. Well, that was the, what we were talking about last week, you know, iOS being a totally different um, OS than Mac OS. And, you know, it's a bummer that you have to pay for a Mac app and pay a lot, again, for an iPad app. But, they're, you know, the developers have to develop two different apps. 20 bucks or 20 pounds is not a lot of money for a program that is effectively Photoshop. But that you've already what paid for on your Mac. Yeah, but what is Photoshop? Yeah, you're right. And by the way, Adobe gives away their much stripped down versions of Lightroom and Photoshop for iOS. But they expect you to have a subscription. Mm -hmm. So Subscriptions. Yeah. I, I think I would say buy it. 
I don't think you'll regret it. 20 Bye, pounds. Keith. Depends on how important, how much 20 pounds means If to you. you regret it, write me a letter and I will take um, $27 out of Leo's yeah. wallet and send it to you. <laughs> I'm. It's kind of annoying that they charge 20 pounds and 20 bucks in the U.S. Yeah, it is annoying. Garrett writes, I'll be looking into an upgrade soon and I have a question regarding the iPhone 10. I can't seem to find the answer anywhere. Can you possibly find out if putting the 10 in either low power mode or grayscale saves more battery having an OLED screen in comparison to the LCD screens on the 6 and the 8? The Galaxy S5 has an ultra low power mode that allowed it to last a week on one charge. So he's saying, does grayscale on an OLED screen save more battery than on an LCD screen? That's the question. The oh, first of all, OLED screens use more power than an L L LCD screen. But so, they are they also more battery efficient? No. Okay. So when you put an OLED screen, if everything else were equal, you would have worse battery life with an OLED screen. Where you get a benefit from OLEDs is not grayscale, but black, because an OLED, unlike an LCD, an LCD lights the whole screen, and then they use little shutters to open up parts of it. An OLED, each pixel is separate, and a black pixel uses no power. So when so your best bet is to have as much dark on there. Now, here's an interesting question, and I would bet that this is the case, but I don't know for a fact. Does gray use less power than red? Mm. That I don't know. My guess is if you once you light a pixel. It probably, it's brightness that makes the difference, not color. So grayscale isn't saving you juice. Dimming the screen saves you juice. And you will, the more you can save on the screen, on an OLED screen, the better, because the OLED screen does drain the battery faster in all other things being equal than an LCD screen. So, so is dark, dark mode? Dark mode is absolutely a good idea if dark mode gives you black, because a black pixel is using no power. It's turned off, basically. And then the other thing is just turn down the brightness. Uh, and you'll notice, by the way, Samsung does that. Samsung uses OLED screens as well. So the things that Samsung does for their ultra-low power mode, really, you know, the screen is the number one power user. But very close are all the radios. So I'm guessing that Samsung's saving battery life by changing the, how the radios mm -hmm. behave, turning off Wi-Fi. Uh, turning off the cell radio whenever possible, things like that. So, But if you dim your screen to the lowest that you can read, that is probably, uh, you know, the best you're going to be able to do. Certainly running in black mode is, you know, uh, nighttime, you know, where, where you have, instead of a lot of, you don't want a lot of white, you'd like a lot of black. But I don't, I'm not convinced, and I'm not sure, I'll have to do some research, that the color matters. Does Does gray use less power than red? Probably not. My guess would be. So what about inverted colors? That's different than dark mode? Uh, it is. But it may, but, it, well, if you have an app that is white, has a white screen, a bright white screen, that's using a lot of power. So if inverted mode turns that to a black screen with some white text on it, that's going to save you power, yes. So when I, like, spend the day in Twitter, I'm wasting a bunch. Well, Twitter has a night mode. Okay, well, maybe so I don't know if no, your I version of Twitter does. It but it does. I've seen that little. Yeah. So I should do that to save power because this yeah. is what most of my day looks like yeah okay um i'll have to you know i have to do some research it, oh well the way oleds work it, you know these are it's a new idea and how much juice they use for different colors is i mean i'm sure i think it's really how bright it is is the most important thing rather than the color it's showing it may be that red uses marginally more than say blue or gray but my guess is the brightness is what really matters mm-hmm Okay, so I've been getting a lot of emails about our Roku app because you said that it doesn't work anymore, but now I've gotten a lot of emails saying it works just fine for me. Okay. But then some It won't are... soon. Okay. <laughs> Roku okay. changed their API. We did not update the app to support the new API. And at some point, now maybe on older Rokus, they're not going to, I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. You know who does know, and he, I don't think he's in the chat room right now, is the guy who wrote it, Houdini7 in our chat room. 
uh, wrote that Roku app. And he's the one who first notified us that Roku was changing their API. And he unfortunately can't write for us anymore mm. because he got a real job oh. <laughs> that won't let him uh, do applications for anybody else. So he wrote the original one. We paid him to do the original one. He'd done a great job uh, on an iOS Twit app. And uh, he said, I could do one for the Roku. We said, great. So we paid him a very fair amount of money to do that. Uh, but we, just, I think once he got a real job and couldn't do that, uh, and we decided, yeah, we're not going to. Because you can, if, hey, if it works, use it, right? And uh, I, the only message is if it doesn't work, you you could still use Ustream, Twitch, or my preference would be the YouTube app and uh, go to our YouTube channel and you can watch live there. And of course, all of our podcasts are there as well. All right. Uh, before we talk about our app caps, we need to talk about your jeans. Your DNA. I am actually wearing slacks today, but okay. Then let's talk about your DNA. Oh, okay. my DNA! Ah, that I can talk about. Those twenty-three pairs of chromosomes, twenty-three from your mom, twenty-three from your dad, merged together to make you you. Wouldn't you like to know? We just gave twenty-three and me. I should say twenty-three and me is our sponsor. Also, I used I first used twenty-three and me when they started a few years ago, and I love it. And we just gave it to Lisa's mom and dad. I think Lisa's sister. We're getting the whole family involved. My mom's done it. My dad's done it. My sister's done it. <laughs> what you do, and when I say done it, it's very simple. What you do is 23andMe will send you a little vial. You spit into it. That saliva has enough of your DNA for them to do a full analysis. It takes them a few weeks to analyze the DNA. And then you'll get uh, online a group of 75 plus reports that tell you so much about yourself. It's the the most fascinating book you've ever read, The Book of You. The ancestry reports include ancestry composition, haplogroups. You have a maternal haplogroup and a paternal haplogroup. And I think Lisa told me that it only knows your maternal haplogroup. And uh, but you, if you're a woman, because you don't have you only you don't have you're missing the male chromosome. What is it? XY. You're missing the X or you're missing a Y, or you're just a Z. I don't know what it is. Anyway, you're missing a haplo. You're missing a... So you can get your dad to do it, and then he can share your report, and then you'll have your paternal haplo group. It's fascinating. You also could find out weird things, like how much Neanderthal is in you. I'm 4%. Mm -hmm. happy I always to think say. that should be more. <laughs> See, I think people have a, the wrong idea of what Neanderthal means. It doesn't mean, like, thuggish. It means that you're unlikely to make dongle jokes? Yes. Okay, <laughs> then that's accurate. Yes. <laughs> uh, you can also use the DNA relative finder to find and connect with new relatives. Of course, all privacy is a number one priority, and so unless you share that information, it won't be available. But if you do, it's so cool. What else? Um, you can, you can, they have this, uh, uh, the traits report, which I really, look at that. That, le there, that lets you know things like back hair, dimples, whether you whether caffeine affects you or how much, whether you can smell asparagus, and so forth. I love this stuff. I like their privacy policy too. It's oh, it's uh, very good. Don't go I uploading your DNA to just any place. People should know that. And uh, and the and and twenty three me has works with the FDA to make sure that it is completely compliant. They just announced, and I don't know when this will be part of twenty three me or if it'll be a separate test. But they just received FDA approval to do uh, uh, BARCA tests. So that is a really big deal. And that's, I mean, that gives you an idea of how, how good this company is. 23andMe.com slash twit. Find out what makes you, you. Your heredity, your ancestry, your traits is so much fun and it's so easy to do. And it, it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving because they've, they're adding new stuff all the time. 23, the number 23, A N D M E, 23andMe.com slash twit. Use that URL so they know you heard it here. And we thank you and thank them for their support of uh, iOS today. Time to don our caps. The caps. App cap time. This is a nice one. Yeah. Mine it's is a, also it's nice. A, I it's think. a little big. Mm. You look like Sinatra. Do I have this on right or is it backwards? No, that's yeah. perfect. Okay. It's not supposed to be worn like this? No. <laughs> this? No. Okay. I, I'm, I'm a little lost in this. This is this is a rare occasion for me. A hat that's bigger than my head. I've worn that. I think I might have worn that one last week. This is week. size 61. What is your hat size? Uh, Not 61. <laughs> I am, I think, seven and uh, three quarters. Mm. 
Seven? If anybody wants to send me a hat. Eight. No, yeah, seven. Yeah, seven and three quarters. Is that your ring size? That's your hat size. <laughs> Your, like, how can your hat size be the same as my ring size? That's complicated. <laughs> because they're in different units. Okay, good, good, good. My ring size is 11. Huh. Huh. Uh, okay, so do you See, recall... I have sausage fingers. <laughs> do you recall uh, an app that you showed off a little while ago called I do. Hidden Folks? No, no idea. <laughs> really? Did I show that off? That you did. Oh, I love this. Yeah, so where you get to, you find the, um, it's like, where's Waldo a little bit, but. But there's lots more. Yeah, and there's sound too. Can you hear? Yeah, there's somebody snoring. Um, this, so this says beekeeper Barry is being terrorized by bees, so stop stealing their honey, man. And so then I just have to find beekeeper Barry. And I guess every person, everyone has a different sound. There, there. See oh. all the bees? Okay. Beekeeper. Where is he? He must be around here somewhere. No, no, no. Up to the left. Oh. That's not him, I guess. Beekeeper. What does it say again about Beekeeper Barry? Beekeeper Barry is being terrorized by bees, so stop stealing their honey, man. Where is... Is that him? Is he behind Is that him? I like that. Is that him? <sighs> left. There. That's That's him. Well, I gotta cut down the trees to see if I can find him. Maybe there's. Oh, that's fun. Is that Beekeeper Barry? It doesn't Maybe he's not near there. the bees. He should be surrounded by bees around his head. There should be a lot of bees flying around his head. Is so he maybe, hiding in there? Maybe he's not near the bees. Okay. Um, I so you're like modifying the landscape. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Is he over here? <gasps> Beekeeper Barry! Bing! <laughs> we found him. This is cute. I think kids would love this. Yeah. So I, as I said, I'm trying to do a mental challenge this week. And I wondered, is this a mental challenge? <laughs> yeah. Mai releases every butterfly she catches. That's why there's still so many of them here. Okay. Where, where do we think the butterflies are? Whoa. I, I think we saw butterflies before that I thought were bees. Um, butterflies. Is that her? <laughs> Um, so you mentioned this before. We've talked about it before, but now they have a new city scene. They just released a new city this scene, so I cute. thought it was worth mentioning again. Um, more, I love the sound. I'm gonna cut down the trees. Help me. Where are the butterflies? So remember, said I was said I was looking for games I could write. This yeah. one would be easy, <laughs> but it, but fun. That's the There's, point. You don't really. It's the programming isn't there, hard. It's the wait, it's coming up with a good concept. John says, uh, "Look where John's pointing." That's, that's Lumberjack Fleck. Lumberjack Fleck stands in front of his grand final challenge. Uh, I mean, you already got him. Now I you know. Get... I just wanted to hear him. Keep uh -huh. it. Oh, so they give you a clue as to what to look for because right. that was a big tree. So here's a sleeping lady. What, what does it say? Is a classy Jesse. The sun is shining too brightly today, even for classy Jesse. Oh. Is she out in the sun or is she in the shade? I don't know. This is hard. It is hard. Um, this is the this level This is like three. I spy with my little eye. That's mm -hmm. another one. that. So I think it's good. Yeah, that's nice. I like to it. To just not give up. You know. <laughs> so this one, I believe, is 99 cents. Boop. No, 299? Boop. $2.99. Two Do you like it? Hidden somewhere? folks. I like it. Cute, Nine, funny, nine, but one, where? Nine. One ninety nine. Adrian. Oh, De Jong. I know uh, that guy's written other stuff. Adrian De Jong. That is a familiar name. Yeah. So there's the forest. There's the drylands. The city is the new scene. We can't get there until I find everything in the forest. Hidden folks, try it if you need a mental challenge. So this is elevate. Remember, I was talking about mm -hmm. brain training, and I've tried a lot of the brain training apps. I just want to show you the kind of thing you'd be doing in elevate. The idea is Elevate trains you in different parts of the brain. Mm. So we all have many, many different parts of the brain. So it breaks it up to writing, listening, speaking, reading, math, and the total. What do you think my worst thing is? Listening. Yep. I'm only advanced mm -hmm. at listening. <laughs> but you can see, you can see, and I've done this a lot because I, I think this is a good way to keep your brain going so Watch i just wanted hat. to give you something you want to do a little precision speaking yeah okay can you hear the tone mm -hmm. okay the beatles and their music has stood the test of time incorporate Ooh. 
Have. The mm. Beatles have. The Beatles and their music has stood the test of time. Mm. Incorporating diverse musical styles, such like classical and folk, such and introducing new sounds like the Indian sitar, the Beatles redefining rock and roll. They also ushered in music videos with its first film, A Hard Day's Night, which pioneered techniques like cutting images to the music's beat. In the recording studio, they used electronical techniques, such as multi-tracking and overdubbing, to build sophisticated song arrangements. This is hard, huh? Mm -hmm. Their album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, are credited with being the first concept album in rock and roll. Good. So, but that, but the reason I like this is because it's not just one area. So you're going to be able to, uh, so if you want something, that's what I would get, Elevate. And, and that's a subscription, right? There is a subscription. I think there's a, there must be a free tier that you could just play with it a little bit. Uh, and then, but it, to me, this, and, oh, I didn't realize Apple's app of the year at some point. Um, I've tried a bunch of different brain training games. The other one that's good too is Peak. Mm. But now I have something that's completely mindless. Oh, good. Because sometimes you just want to sit and play a game. What do I look for in a game? I look for um, satisfying action. Mm. This is called, oh, now I forgot the Bricks name. And so Bricks and Balls. And uh, now I removed the ads on the iPhone, but I guess I haven't removed the ads yet. So this is basically Breakout. Remember Breakout, the mm -hmm. game where you'd bounce the ball against the thing? Mm -hmm. But now you get 55 or more balls. You can buy more. We're going to aim them. And that becomes very satisfying because with all those balls, you really get a lot of action going on. Look at that. And we're trying to clear this. But notice the numbers on here. You have to hit that brick that many times. So what I'm going to try to do is eliminate that brick and then that's going to open oh man didn't work as well as i had hoped you get the idea this is really a fun a satisfying game and it, there's actually some skill involved physics yeah mm -hmm. it is physics you also have other kinds of uh tools there's an earthquake tool oh. that will blow things up if you, you just can double your balls up. double your balls double your fun mm-hmm so true. There we go. Look at that. I just downloaded it. It's kind of satisfying, isn't it? And two ninety nine to get rid of the ads, which I think is worth it. They also have in app purchases. You can buy additional, uh, you know, toys. But I, I don't think you're going to need them. You know, they have. Oh, by the way, night mode or day mode. I like that. Um, these are the different kinds of toys. Quake we just used. Ray place four place four rays randomly. Remove the bottom line. Add balls, that's the other one we did, and iron blocks adds five iron blocks at the bottom of the screen. Now, sometimes you want that because you don't want a block that's going to go away. You want to be able to continue to use it. So that's kind of cool. I, I like this a lot. Um, you can spend money on this. The, you can buy rubies. I'm not sure what rubies do, but I haven't gotten far enough in the game. And you can spend a lot of money on rubies, up to $30.00. But that's not the most expensive thing. These are different kinds of balls you can buy. If you want to buy a pack of 12,000 rubies, 33 earthquakes, and 33 extra balls, that'll set you back $100. You don't need those. Don't waste your money. Oh, here's a hard one. That seems like... It, it seems... <sighs> Like an odd choice to spend a hundred dollars. Well, I think they want to give you the chance if you want to be that dumb. Or maybe if you're addicted to it. This actually, the, my favorite part in Breakout was when you got behind the bricks and you had this kind of infinite bouncing. Mm -hmm. And so this takes that part, uh, that the best part of the game, and gives it to you <laughs> and says, "Good. Well, you want to do more of that here." And I love it that you get a whole bunch of balls to play with. This is really. A great game. I feel it's, like the best part of Breakout was the little turny um, controller. You like the turny controller? Yeah. The I, knob? I wish I could have one of those. The potentiometer? I guess, do you use the knob on your um, Microsoft computer over there, your Surface Studio? Never. Mm. Now, notice, by the way, kind of like Tetris, these are advancing. So here's what I'm going to do. Five balls will destroy that. And I want to get the trajectory so it'll go get the next one after it. <gasps> oh, I did. Nice one. That's so there's a, real, a little real sense of accomplishment there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of a dopey game, but you're not gonna get you're not gonna do your brain any good. But if you want a little time killer, you don't need to get rid of the ads. You know, I mean, I, 
you know, I don't really see them. But for two ninety nine, I like to give I like to give developers a little money so that they can keep doing what they do so well. So now I know you're working on developing games. Would this be a difficult game to create or a, and no, no, not so hard. It'd be kind of fun to do. Okay. And we you see that you it, what I'm starting to. I'm not. I'm develop. I'm not really developing games like like I'm going to do some games. It's just fun to kind of re recreate games. I did a missile command, and now I'm recreating a snake, which is a fairly easy game to do. But this wouldn't be so hard to do either. Breakout is a fairly simple game. It was a, the early games are the easiest to do because they didn't have a whole lot of capabilities. Well, I blew that one. You could make a game like this, and then uh, every little box was a picture of your face, and it would be like throwing balls at your face. You would like that, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You'd love that game. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to do it <laughs> just for you. I'm going to put your face. I could make a game where you could pick your, the, your enemy's face. Oh, yeah. Just so choose the face. face. <laughs> well, we have done it again. We have. Mm -hmm. And I think we did it well today. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, everybody's got their opinion. <laughs> we do iOS today. Uh, now we're back on schedule. Thank you, Apple. Uh, every Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern time, 1600 UTC. The one time I wore glasses, they took a picture. Mm -hmm. The one time. We could change that picture. No, it's all right. <laughs> I look friendly there. Actually, Next. I look like somebody gave me some injections <laughs> in my face. And it's really? it's frozen that way. It, yeah. You look great. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, next week, we're going to talk about reading. We're gonna yeah, talk, we decided books, that already. So, yeah. yeah. Megan right. likes us to decide as mm -hmm. early as possible we're going to do, do next week. You can also uh, give us your questions, your comments, your suggestions. The best way to do is uh, to email Megan at twit.tv. You could also record a video. If you made a 30-second video, started it with your first name and city, posted that on YouTube or somewhere, uh, and then send us a link. That'd be really mm -hmm. cool. We'd probably play it on the show. Yeah, send us a video. We, I mean, you can send us an audio a voicemail as well, but same way. Megan yeah. at twit.tv, yeah, just to yeah. at least alert her to the existence of such a yes, thing. Yes, please do. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.